Welcome to eat another video of Fragrant Gem guys and today I have 5 leather fragrances that are absolutely different from each other. Now when we think about leather perfume we think they are a bit subjective, they are you know season specific, uh, yes a few of them are but then uh, here I have 5 leather fragrances and I'm gonna highlight 5 of them and I'll just let you know how exactly you can wear them, where you can wear them and uh, uh, you know, how are they exactly? So the first one that I'm going to talk about is uh, my recent purchase, which is Leather Oud by Flores. Now, this, I'll say, is something that is uh, extremely season specific. You cannot wear it in uh, summers, that is for sure, because this is not, you know, 100% leather perfume. There's a lot of uh, things going on inside. So it is, uh, you know, rosy, a bit musky. It has... Uh, uh, amber gray. This is what I personally feel. This is a little bit floral. Uh, sadly, you know, it is it is called leather oud, but then uh, the leather is not the prominent note in this perfume. Hence, like I said, this is a season specific perfume because you're not just getting leather in this. You're getting a lot of stuffs, and uh, in India, you are not gonna appreciate this kind of perfume in summers or uh, you know fall. Just make sure you try this one in um, winters or maybe if you're at the office just try this one at uh, the office where you have uh, you know very nice air conditioning system so you're gonna love it and uh, the longevity is a little bit weird so you might want to apply it in a beast mode manner like let's say at least 10 to 15 sprays in that way this is good um, sophisticated yes extremely sophisticated elegant yes not a safe perfume that is for sure and uh, very very season specific now the second one that we're going to talk about is uh, uh, the mighty umbre leather now i prefer this one always and i'll always prefer this one over tuscan leather because this is more wearable and less harsh and okay this is good this is very good this is a kind of leather fragrance by the way that you can wear anytime anywhere not in summers of course I think uh, only one perfume we have uh, in this list that you can wear in summers, but then even this is not for summers. Yes, you can wear anywhere, that is for sure, because it is good for parties, it is good for office, it is good for date nights, and extremely sexy and seductive stuff, that is for sure. And uh, if you have a budget to buy Tuscan leather, make sure you try this one at least first, because uh, I'm pretty sure you're going to love this one more, because Tuscan leather is good, it's a bit costly, but then... Uh, you know, this is more wearable. You can say that this is a smooth version of Tuscan leather. That is for sure. And uh, yeah, the kind of perfume that you can wear anytime, anywhere. Good stuff. Now, the third one that we're going to talk about is uh, one of my favorite. And this is uh, African Leather by Memo. Now, this is a kind of leather that is way different. Like I said in the beginning that uh, all the leather perfumes in this list are completely different from each other. And they actually are because... Now, this leather is an extremely spicy leather. Now, this is a 100% winter-centric perfume. You cannot wear this. You cannot appreciate it in summers or like in any other season. If you're someone who is sitting like in 8 to 9 hours in your office under the AC, then this is good. Otherwise, it is not good. Uh, very good. Very, very good. And... Uh, Again, one sad part here is that it is not going to last that much. If you apply like, let's say, two, three, one here and one here and all these kind of uh, uh, sissy sprays. <laughs> this is what I wanted to say. Uh, so if you are a sissy sprayer, this is not for you. This is good if you are applying like at least 10 to 12 sprays overall. And uh, that is going to make this perfume last for the entire day. Very good, very spicy kind of leather so this is spicy leather this is rose not like an elegant kind of rose but then uh, you're gonna get a little bit rose here so spices and uh, leather is the prominent note and hence it is called african leather so great stuff one of my favorite from this line and um, i know it is weird to say but then this one is gonna remind you of this one up to a certain extent so you can say that uh, almost same backbone but uh, not entirely the fourth one that I have is uh, by the house of Niche. So this is Niche. Uh, oriental leather. Now, oriental leather is something that you can wear anytime, anywhere, even in summers. Because this is a safe to wear leather. Very, very safe to wear. Very elegant, very soft, very subtle, and very, I'll say, 
airy kind of leather you know not dense not dark but then airy kind of leather you can say that this is a kind of leather perfume you wear on a white shirt and uh, it is gonna radiate amazing thing okay wow this is this is good and uh, although it feels a little bit airy it smells a little bit airy but then it is gonna last it is gonna perform like good seven to eight hours plus on your clothes and that is one very very good thing oriental leather by niche good stuff and the last one that we have is uh, safari extreme now the irony here is that uh, <laughs> leather is not mentioned in the official notes but then this is still a leather centric perfume uh the only perfume in this entire list which is middle eastern perfume and hence it is middle eastern perfume so this is a strong perfume this is very strong again this is a kind of perfume that you wear specifically during winters you are gonna appreciate this kind of dna in winters this is very very good i mean very nice i mean just look at the bottle first of all very heavy thick kind of bottle you know it's a glass cut bottle and hence it feels very premium and majestic and uh, the perfume is as majestic as the bottle is comes in amazing presentation so like i've said the leather here is good it is very very nice i get this iris in this perfume i'm not sure about uh, the official notes but then i do get iris in this one perfume and uh, that is very prominent because iris is only present in this out of the other five perfumes that we discussed and uh, that is a good thing very sophisticated now this is the kind of perfume you cannot probably wear at the office i mean if you are doing like let's say two to three sprays it is fine because this is very loud this is very uh beast mode kind of other uh not other perfume and um by the way this also comes in other format so let's say if you have an other of safari extreme and if you layer it with this one i mean you are gonna be like a, uh, a monster wherever you go so good stuff i'm trying to get the other as well maybe in the future as of now safari extreme very good and very sophisticated leather out of the five i'll say um uh, no i won't say any specific one is my favorite because i love all the perfumes but then right now i'm reaching out ombre leather a lot because uh, like i've said this is very very sophisticated kind of leather and uh, leather note is something that is not appreciated by everyone if someone is into aquatic and fresh perfumes they might not even like this one they'll feel nauseated so make sure you try this one before you buy and uh, never blind buy these perfumes because all these perfumes are a bit on a higher side you know let's say more than seven to eight thousand rupees in india so like never blind buy this thing and um, i think the designer fragrances will be available to try at the malls or stuffs and if not you can just check their official websites if they're providing decans or samples and uh, give them a try let me know in the comment section which one do you have which one have you tried and which one are you planning to buy next